10 football stadiums that were never built. Stanley Park Stadium In the early 2000s, Liverpool Football Club had set its sights on building a new stadium to replace their home, Anfield. The proposed Stanley Park Stadium was to have a capacity of 60,000, with the potential to expand to 73,000. Two designs were given planning permission, one by Manchester-based architects AFL and another by Dallas-based architects HKS, which was more futuristic but also more expensive. But the project was never realised due to a lack of funds. Despite attempts to revive the project, including a redesign by AFL that was dubbed New Generation Anfield and a plan by HKS for a 60,000-seater stadium, the dream of a new stadium for Liverpool FC remained just that. In 2012, the club's new owners decided to redevelop and expand Anfield Stadium instead, incorporating modernisations to AFL's original plans. The expansion was estimated to have raised at least £150 million in sponsorship money. Rumours of co-financing with rival club Everton FC for the Stanley Park Stadium also surfaced but Liverpool FC consistently denied that a shared stadium was ever on the table. These rumours were eventually quashed when Liverpool completed their new main stand, effectively ending their pursuit of a new stadium. Barcelona Bay Stadium The Barcelona Bay Stadium was the football stadium that was to become the new home of FC Barcelona. The stadium was to be built in the city's bay area and would have a capacity of 100,000 spectators. The project started in 2007, but has faced many challenges and obstacles over the years, including local opposition and environmental and economic issues. In 2010, the project was finally shelved after the Spanish government declared a state of emergency due to the country's financial crisis. Despite numerous attempts to revive the project, the stadium was never built and the club continued to play its games at its home stadium, Camp Nou. The Camp Nou has been renovated and expanded many times to meet the growing needs of the team and its fans in the past. The Barcelona Bay Stadium remained a distant dream and finally after years of plans, the expansion of Camp Nou started in June 2022. The new stadium will be under construction until the season 2025-26. The Rock Stadium To bolster tourism and capitalise on the rising success of football, the UAE government devised a plan to create a one-of-a-kind stadium that would blow its competitors out of the water. The proposed stadium was to be built in the heart of the desert, surrounded by mountains and would have a capacity of 40,000. The design was meant to be both visually stunning and functional with a futuristic look that would rival some of the biggest and most iconic stadiums in the world. To bring this vision to life, the government approached MZ Architects. The primary selling point for the architects was the stadium's location, commissioned to be built into the depths of the Abu Dhabi desert and the side of the Jebel Hafid mountain range. The structure's design boasted a sequence of three gigantic trapezoid planes enclosing one another creating an open sky venue that could hold 40,000 screaming fans. The Rock Stadium was set to be a hub for entertainment, with concerts, sports and other events taking place there regularly. However, due to a combination of financial and logistical issues, the project was never completed. The stadium remained just a concept, a vision of what could have been. Perhaps one day, a similar project will be attempted and successfully brought to life. But for now, the Rock Stadium in Abu Dhabi remains an unrealized dream. It would have been an engineering marvel, a truly unique landmark and a remarkable symbol of the region's passion for sports and design. New Milan Stadium The new Milan Stadium was proposed as the home football stadium for AC Milan and Inter Milan, replacing the historic San Siro Stadium. The capacity of the new stadium was going to be 60,000, with the potential to expand to 80,000. The new stadium design was sleek and modern, with a focus on creating an immersive fan experience. 
It featured state-of-the-art amenities, such as luxurious suites, spacious halls, and exclusive seating areas. In 2016, the two clubs announced plans to build a new stadium, but the project faced some challenges. First, with construction costs estimated at around 700 million euros, it was difficult for the club to secure funding. Second, the new stadium was to be built on the site of a former industrial area, raising concerns about its environmental impact. Despite these challenges, the club continued to push the project forward and made several attempts to secure the necessary funding. However, in 2019, it was announced that the new stadium project was cancelled due to a lack of funding and public support. In 2022, they announced that a new Milan stadium will replace the iconic San Siro, is reported to breach £1 billion in construction costs, with work to begin as early as January 2024. As part of the construction plans, the new ground, likely to be nicknamed the Cathedral, will be built nearby the existing stadium. Red Star City Stadium Red Star City was to be the home of Serbia's most successful football club, Red Star Belgrade. This stadium was intended to replace the current stadium, the Rajko Mitic Stadium. The Red Star City Stadium would have a capacity of 60,000 and feature state-of-the-art facilities including an indoor training centre, offices and a hotel. The design of the stadium was a modern circular structure intended to be an iconic landmark in Belgrade. Architects Skidmar, Owings and Merrill wanted to create a unique and visually appealing design that would set it apart from other stadiums in the area. The design included a partially transparent roof that offered great views of the surroundings and a large LED screen for viewing live games and events. Despite the excitement surrounding the stadium, the project never materialised. The main reason was the lack of funds. With an estimated cost of around 120 million euros for the stadium, Red Star failed to secure sufficient investment to cover the costs. Additionally, the club was unable to obtain the necessary permits and approvals from local authorities, further delaying the project. Despite the disappointment of the lack of a new stadium, Red Star Belgrade continued to thrive and remain a dominant force in Serbian football. In recent years, the reconstruction of the stadium known as Maracana became necessary because of the UEFA criteria and the plan will cost 55 million euros. The reconstruction will start in 2023 and will be done in phases so that matches can be played continuously. Kajerica Stadium Also known as the new Dynamo Stadium, was a vision that promised to be the pride of Croatian football. The stadium in the centre of Zagreb was designed for around 30,000 enthusiastic fans of Dinamo Zagreb, the most successful club in the country. With modern design and state-of-the-art facilities, the venue would be the home of choice for the team and its fans. The stadium idea was first embodied in 2006 to replace the outdated Maximir Stadium. The project gained public interest and fan support, but unfortunately never materialised. Financial difficulties, logistical challenges and a lack of investment proved to be major obstacles of the project. Despite these challenges, Dinamo Zagreb and its fans were staunch supporters of the project. The club worked tirelessly to secure the necessary funding, but ultimately the dream of a new home turf was too big to materialise. By 2009, it was clear that the stadium would not be built. The stadium would have brought a new level of excitement to Croatian football and provided a huge boost to the local economy. With the Maximir Stadium being outdated and in need of renovation, the Croatian champions unveiled plans for a new 34,000-seat stadium in the vicinity of the current home ground. Dinamo started that project, which is expected to cost 60 million euros, and will take three years to complete. It will have three tiers and fully covered stands. Portsmouth Dockland Stadium With its stunning waterfront location, Portsmouth Dockland Stadium was expected to be the new home of Portsmouth FC and a shining jewel in the city's sporting scene. 
Designed by renowned architectural firm HOK Sport, the stadium would have a capacity of 36,000 and featured a cantilevered roof over the seating area and two rows of seats around the pitch, offering unobstructed views to all fans. Portsmouth FC would have paid the estimated £600 million cost of the new stadium. The majority of the required monies was to be raised by the sale of the stores located on the former Fratton Park site as well as the area around the new stadium. Due to the economic situation around the world in 2008 and 2009, the club postponed the construction of the stadium. And later when the club was sold to new owners, they decided to focus on improving the existing stadium, Fratton Park, rather than build a new one. The proposed site also faced opposition from residents and environmental groups, making progress on the project difficult. And in 2010, Following Portsmouth's collapse into administration and then relegation, it was clear that the new stadium would not be built. Chelsea Battersea Stadium Battersea Power Station is a historic building in London with a rich history dating back to the 1930s. However, despite its iconic status, proposed plans to convert the power station into a modern stadium never materialised. Imagine a futuristic stadium surrounded by the bustling city of London in the background. The idea was to transform the dilapidated building into a state-of-the-art football stadium that could accommodate 60,000 fans. The stadium would have been a unique venue and a true representation of the fusion of old and new. However, the project faced many challenges including a lack of funding and opposition from residents concerned about potential impacts on the surrounding area. Despite efforts to secure the necessary funding, the project eventually stalled and plans for the Battersea Power Stadium were scrapped. Despite the disappointment, Battersea Power Station remains an iconic symbol of London's industrial past. Since 2022, the station is open to public with shops, bars, restaurants, leisure venues, and apartments. Dalian Sheed Stadium The proposed Dalian Sheed Stadium was to be a state-of-the-art football stadium to house one of China's top football teams. The stadium was to be built in the coastal city of Dalian in Liaoning province. With a projected capacity of 40,000, the stadium was expected to become the centre of the city's sports and entertainment district. Its sleek and curvaceous form is a visual standout, with a large, undulating roof that appears to float above the stands. The roof is composed of steel cables that are strung between two large arches, creating a striking wave-like effect that is visually captivating and structurally impressive. To accommodate its flexibility for hosting many different events, the seating bowl is designed to be easily reconfigured, with retractable seating sections that can be moved to create different configurations. Another standout feature of the stadium is its sustainability. The roof is designed to collect rainwater, which is then used to irrigate the pitch and flush the toilets. The stadium also has a sophisticated lighting system that uses LED lights to reduce energy consumption. In addition, the building is oriented to take advantage of natural ventilation which helps to reduce the need for air conditioning. Despite its beautiful design and functional addition to the city of Dalian, the project was eventually cancelled due to financial and logistical problems, and it remains a symbol of what could have been. Feyenoord Stadium The proposed Feyenoord City in Rotterdam was an ambitious and visionary project that aimed to transform the area surrounding the Rotterdam Football Club Stadium into a new city district. The plan envisioned a mix for residential, commercial and public spaces that would bring together the existing neighbourhoods around the area, creating a vibrant and sustainable urban community. At the heart of the master plan was a new stadium for Feyenoord, which was designed to hold 63,000 spectators and would have been built on the banks of the Maas River. The stadium's design drew inspiration from the Roman Colosseum with a steeply sloping seating bowl that was intended to create a bowl-like effect. Enhancing the atmosphere inside the stadium, the plan also included a range of other public spaces, 
such as a waterfront park that would have run along the banks of the Maas River. The new residential and commercial complex, which would have been located on the site of the current stadium, was designed to be pedestrian friendly. The complex would have included a range of housing types, from apartments to townhouses, as well as a mix of commercial and retail spaces. Since its announcement in 2016, the construction was postponed after numerous funding problems. Through the years, the design of the project has also changed, and in 2022, Feyenoord authorities announced that they are backing away from plans and Feyenoord will continue to play at their current stadium. Comment below which of these you would love to see being built.